It's no secret opposing teams are targeting Connor Bedard, just as they do with other stars like Crosby, McDavid, Matthews. Benji's going to have to learn to play through some things like the others, especially early on in his career. It's just part of the game, and he's got a big target on his back. We'll take a look at some of Bedard's challenges so far, his jaw injury, and how to potentially get some protection so opposing players think twice before taking liberties on Bedard. That sounds pretty good. But Art was welcomed to the NHL on a bot shootout attempt in preseason when he got in a little too close and tried to salvage the shot with a between the legger. But veteran Marc Andre Fleury tripped him to his butt and skated by, giving him a little tap. Welcome to the NHL, kid. Well, but Art in. I never really got a shot away as Fleury poke checks it away. But Art seemed to learn his lesson when he converted his first regular season shootout attempt where he kept it simple and picked a spot with his forehand. Bedard scores! But Art's also experiencing NHLers trying to get under his skin. Early on in the season, we saw NHL irritant Brad Marchand doing what he does and getting to know Bedard a little better. On the bright side, at least Marchand didn't lick him. <laughs> and here's Tanner Janot of Tampa initiating Bedard with a stick to the chops, drawing a high sticking double minor. That is a very clear penalty of the official there to see it. Bedard was also welcome to the league with a big hit from Dmitry Kulik of the Panthers that led to a scrum afterwards. And like Brad Marchand, agitator Matthew Kachuk also had to check in on Bedard to make sure he was okay. Why don't you pick on someone your own size? Nick Felino roughed up Kulikov a bit later in response to the hit on Bedard. Bedard's done a good job so far in brushing off guys trying to throw him off his game. His stats on the mediocre Hawks are evidence of that. Most of Bedard's frustrations that we've seen have been from misplays or potential goals. He expects to put in the net. A big lesson learned came on the jawbreaker play on January 5th, where Bedard took the puck up the middle, got past two Devils players, but then as he was reaching for the puck, was introduced to Brendan Smith's shoulder on a clean hit that ended up breaking Bedard's jaw. Things got heated up after the hit, with Felino squaring off against Smith later on. Ironically, Felino broke his finger in the scrum and would miss several games afterwards. <laughs> Bedard had surgery, missed 15 games, and returned turned to NHL action on February 15th as Bubble Bedsy against the Penguins and took over where he left off with a saucy apple to Philip Kurashev. Keep a dart, open ice, the pass to Kurashev, he scores! After Bedard returned from his injury, he seemed to be more aggressive and physical with his play. Not sure if it was the bubble protection or just getting more acclimated to the NHL. I'm thinking the latter. Here's an example of Bedard getting physical and protecting himself against a 6'4", 220-pound behemoth Brendan Dillon of the Jets. He got a little ragdolled as expected, but certainly didn't shy away. Anthony Beauvillier, no longer with the Hawks, did step in the help out, which was nice to see. It's about time. Here's what Tony Granato had to say what the team should do when someone takes liberties on Bedard. Do you go after their best player or do you go after Dylan? Or best, do you do best both? Best player. Say you're Felino. You go up to Dylan and say, hey, I'd love to beat you up and fight you, but I'm not going to do it. I'm going to pick on her. I'm going to go after Ehler. I'm going to make them pay for what you did to Connor. you got to follow up with a cross check. Make sure if next whistle you're face washing them and you let them know that, hey, that ain't happening to Connor Bedard. And here's another example of Bedard's physicality on former Blackhawk Patrick Kane. He was, he certainly did, whoa, 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 a little follow through on the hit there. Got a little physical on me in the corner there, so uh, he's lucky he had the bubble on or I was going after him. We're gonna but Art had an eventful game on Leap Day against Colorado where he got a nice two-handed chopper on the wrist from Josh Manson that didn't get any response from his teammates. I don't think anyone really saw the slash when it happened, but in a post-game interview, Felino did say, I didn't know what happened. We get them again Monday. We'll see where it goes. And of course, the Avalanche didn't put Manson in the lineup in the upcoming rematch. Chicken! Chicken! The Hawks don't play Colorado again this season, but hockey players are funny in that they have a long memory on things like this. So maybe we'll see something next season. But Art laughed it off in a post-game interview as no big deal. That was nothing. It was, you know, maybe because it was nationally televised game, people saw the video a little more and, and made a big deal about it. But uh, no, it was like a love tap. 
that just got me in a spot, so it didn't really matter. And he also said, it's hockey, it's physical. If it does happen, just keep playing my game, and I think sometimes that's nice. Get you in the game a bit. Here's another welcome to the NHL love tap. And another recent hit by Dumba that looked clean to me. Maybe boarding. But the bottom line is, Bedard needs to keep his head up or he'll keep getting hurt. I'd like to see Bedard make this pass and recognize the hit coming and maybe duck or reverse hit in that situation. The nice thing is he popped right back up. What are your thoughts? Do you agree with Tony Granato saying the Hawks should be taking liberties on opposing team star players? It seems like Felino is the only one stepping up in this role. I'm thinking the Hawks can use a little more snarl. And it'd be nice to see big veteran players like Seth Jones step up more. Connor Murphy provides some grit, so that should help whenever he returns. Check out these other Blackhawks Fanatics vids and please like and subscribe so you don't miss out on future Hawks content. Go Hawks!